Hi there Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for May. You have a reputation of being stoic and sometimes quite serious, but I find that as Capricorn people get older they tend to develop an even better sense of humour and on the second Mercury moves into the part of your horoscope which on the face of it would revive yours. The problem is that both Mercury and Mars in this upbeat part of your scope too going to be imposed by your ruler Saturn before the end of the first week. And that could mean your desire to express a talent, be yourself, could be crushed by circumstances or an overbearing character who doesn't want to really recognise what you can bring to the party. And that could see you feeling quite down. However, there is an important development on the 10th, and that is a fantastic solar eclipse which can get you back on the front foot not just for the rest of this month, but for the following six months. But I do think it's possible that at the start of this month, you're going to need to manage your time very carefully. You can't please all of the people all of the time. And in fact, there could be demands from other people because they feel you're not doing enough to keep them in your life. It could be a friend, it could be a partner. Vice versa, equally possible. But from that tenth, you do get an opportunity to put a spring in your step. Not least because this solar eclipse combines with Mercury, the planet of talk and thought. So the ideas you have really do have a fantastic platform in the following half year. However, also on the 10th, Venus moves. On the 16th, Mercury. On the 21st, the Sun. And all three of them move into a more practical part of your horoscope, one which is concerned with work, health, diet, fitness, basic life organisation. Venus, however, can be a planet which is very much an asset in this area, particularly if you're dealing with someone at work who tends to be hard to please. This suggests that some diplomacy can definitely be to your advantage, but will you buy into this? Because an aspect is going to be repeated between two planets, Pluto in your sign, Uranus in your fourth solar house. Now this happened last year from June for five months. If you cast your mind back to then, do you remember being very much confined and restricted by a sense that your need to be a free individual was being prevented from being so, perhaps by the needs of your family, a family member, your own emotional uh, needs, or a desire to perhaps have control over your whole situation, which of course is difficult. None of us can control all of our lives. And the pressure can build up again in the months to come on the back of this. Uranus and Pluto is not a happy partnership. So you just need to be aware that there could be times that the family may see you as being overbearing or you may find someone in the family overbearing. However, from the 16th through to the 22nd, Venus and Mercury actually form terrific links with Uranus, suggesting to you that if you want to earn some more money, Look at your natural talents, any hobbies you do. One of these could actually be a real asset in terms of making cash from the comfort of your home. You just need to be entrepreneurial and innovative in your approach. Now on the 25th, there is a lunar eclipse. And this lunar eclipse occurs in Sagittarius. This is the sign before yours. But it also forges a difficult angle with Neptune. What I would say to you is you need to be conscious that these two working together can create a, an atmosphere of unreality. Don't believe everything you're told in the next few months. There may be a situation where you'd like to believe what somebody says, but they may actually be telling you a complete pack of lies. And your own reality at times can seem to be shifting. You could find yourself getting at times rather anxious and not sure why this is. Some complex phobias could even come up on the back of this particular influence and you've got to fight this off and stay resolutely positive. Now there is a wonderful link between Jupiter, the planet of expansion and of course of good luck between Venus and Jupiter and also Mercury and Jupiter in week four of May. This could be great if you're looking to improve your financial situation or you're looking to get yourself a new job. You can come across brilliantly well at an interview, but it is important that as much as using charm to get someone on side, you're realistic about your talents. Don't big yourself up beyond what you're actually able to do, because ultimately you're going to have to deliver, and it could be embarrassing if that proves difficult to do. 
Now, the Sun forges a great link with Uranus in the last few days of this month, and also Mars moves. And I think the great benefit of this is that you're going to find you are going to have more physical energy and vitality to deal with life's demands. Because life isn't always about having fun and being playful. Sometimes it is about really grafting. And of course, as a Capricorn, you might know that more than most people. It's been a pleasure being with you. Good luck and goodbye for now.